We've been now 20 years here in the Valley uh, celebrating uh, our dealership with Telus. And uh, we specialize all specifically in their products, so anywhere from home to uh, mobility services. Uh, we have three stores in the area. We've got two here in Duncan, one over on uh, Canada Avenue and one up at the Couch and Commons. And we also have one in Mill Bay. Uh, all of our staff, our staff have been highly trained by TELUS. We have to go through a very rigorous program to make sure that we know all of their products. So uh, we are we have the best knowledge available to you. Uh, so why Couch and Sound for your mobility uh, services for your business? Basically, the first part is, is you get a dedicated account manager, and that's going to be me. Uh, it's a point of contact that you get your personalized services so I can make sure that I'm following up and getting you the personalized services that I like to offer. Uh, I also offer the ability that if you can't get out of the office to come see me, I'll come see you. Not a problem. I got a car, two legs, I can make it there. So not a problem. Uh, I also do information sessions. So what this means is if there's something in particular your business is looking for, I'd be more than happy to set up a session, come and sit down with everybody, and figure out what we'd like to do. I've done several of them with the community already, especially the Mill Bay uh, Association, and uh, so it's been a great uh, service so far. Uh, another particular service that we offer is the TELUS Learning Center. So with any of your mobility devices, you have the opportunity coming in to learn a little bit more about the actual device. Uh, we have a lady named Leah, she runs the program. She's been, again, highly trained by TELUS, spent many hours in Vancouver learning about devices. And uh, she offers two complimentary sessions. They're up to 45 minutes apiece. And basically, she goes, whatever you want to know how to use with the device. Uh, we've also done group sessions. I've done several with the CDRD. Uh, what we do is we come into uh, wherever your business is. We'll sit down and go over again the products that, uh, that you're interested in using with the devices. Uh, again, if you want more details on that, definitely go and see Leah. She's over at our booth. Uh, so basically, what is next for the wireless industry? Uh, we all know about smartphones and internet keys and you know, what they do. It, you know, it, it's a part of everyday life and everyday parts of business. Uh, so what, what are we looking at next? Well, first off, we're going to look at the evolution of our current services and the automation of our regular everyday services. Uh, basically, what we're going to be looking at is in the next... Uh, rolling out over the next few months is we're going to see the return of what's called push to talk. Uh, this was a service offered by our mic services, but it's been declining over the past few years. And the reason is lack of device selection. So Telus has now rolled out a new push to talk service that allows it to be used over multiple platforms from Blackberry to Apple to Android. So this means that you're no longer restricted to just using a basic flip phone to be able to use this service. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, people looking into this. It's been a very popular service. And unfortunately, it's taken this long to get it out, but we now do have it. Uh, the other, uh, it uses all of our existing Nutella's technologies, so whatever we have available for current services, it's going to be able to tie right into that and continue on. Uh, it has access to 4G, which uh, means that basically we have 97% of the Canadian coverage right now in Canada, so major city centers and a lot of outlying areas. So the service is going to work across wherever we have the available services. The next one is that, uh, it's going to be one of the largest growing uh, segments that we're going to see in the global market in the next few years. It's called machine to machine. And basically what this means is that we're looking at services that normally would be something you would have to manually do yourself and figuring out a way to put a SIM card into it to make it automated and being able to bring it to be able to do it remotely. Uh, one of the largest areas I think we're going to be seeing this is coming in uh, digital advertising. Uh, I know a lot of places like laundromats will be putting up signs and be able to fire a SIM card inside of So when, when your ad changes, you simply just log into your computer, send off the information, you never have to go to that area to be able to set up that service. Uh, one other part is going to be vending machines. A lot of operators are going to be using these. They're going to be able to track what hot items there are. So if you're going for at least potato chips super fast, it's going to alert them when they're running out and also be able to predict what options they might have. So if they have data, maybe the pretzels are getting stale, they can think they need uh, basically, the technology is already kind of existent. A lot of companies who use GPS locations and tracking dispatch options have been using this for years, so it's just going to be the ability to expand out from that further. Um, you're going to be able to get up to time detailed reports of how fast you're going, and you know, 
to be to force like past 45 minutes. It should be on the uh, Basically, another one that uh, I've really submitted into has also been remote camera systems. Uh, I've brought a to the hunters, and uh, they place these cameras out of the woods, and they have a SIM card. So when a deer walks past, it triggers this device, it actually will then text 